I am a statement. I am transparent, iconic, bold, risk-taking. All these things go hand in hand. If you look in the mirror, you just be like, damn, you're that bitch. You're gonna do amazing today. You're fucking beautiful. I think it's important not to care about how people see you from the outside looking in, whether you're gonna be misunderstood or praised or whether you're gonna be loved or hated. It's kind of a feeling of just giving in and trying to be in the moment as much as you can. I'm really inspired by survivors and like people who have important stories to tell. How far back, you know, does it go with you? There was no vocal lessons or like vocal coaches. You know, when you're talented, you're talented. Yeah. And when you have a passion for something and you work hard at it and you develop your skill, like that's what really matters. There's only one you. That's really what that line was about, was just like, there's only one me. And I'm no matter what, gonna just be confident in the fact that you can't get this nowhere else. I recognize that music had a serious influence on my life and my mind state and how my day was going and I wanted to be able to control everything around me with what I was listening to. Making music and being creative is the only thing that keeps me going, but I never expected to be a singer. Since I was young, I could look at myself from the outside and just see this girl. I'm still me, I'm just evolved, but I have the same spirit, same soul thinking about how much all these people are going through they're like I can't be there for them you live close to someone or not you know we're all we're all in life alone we're we're born alone we die alone and that's that's just the reality of the situation there's just so many options if a guy's not going to give you what you want trust me another guy will if you're not cool with it somebody else will be so let me know how you feel if that's not if that's not your energy then this isn't going to work my Game Boy, right now I have Tetris in it. It's good to keep the mind, you know, and then also the nostalgia. It's like, it gives me a good feeling when I play it. If I was a rich girl, see I'd have all the money in the world. If I was a wealthy girl, I don't know when I was little, my dad had this tape recorder and I used to always steal it and record myself. I would kind of just play by myself and write songs and I just wanted to get it out. You know, I always been working with Tyler and I had never asked him to be on it. I just showed him the song like, oh yeah, I have this new song, da 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 da. So when I saw that he really liked it, I was like, why don't you get on it? And if it feels good, then it works. And you know, music is about energy and everything was just, everything just flowed. Everything was just supernatural. What about you and designers? What's your process on that? I love people that are really just out here trying to do something different. I mean, it's a Monday and you're giving me a full snakeskin moment. You know what I mean? <laughs> if it's not iconic, I feel like why do it? My tattoo right here is my dad's passport signature coming to America. It's always been something that really inspired me, the strength and the courage that it takes to, to pick up and leave everything that you know. I think what really made me keep going was just knowing that I never really felt like there was anything else that I could possibly be doing with my life. I felt like this was the one thing that, that made me happy and that ultimately I knew it was my purpose. No one should ever feel entitled to your time. And I really, that's one of my biggest pet peeves is people that feel entitled. Access to you is a privilege. I don't even need to do shit. Me just being here, me just walking into the room, just elevated everyone. And that's, that's how I wanna always carry myself and that's how I wanna always try to feel is uplifted to the point where nothing can ruin my day, nobody can stop me, nobody can hurt me, and I can uplift everyone around me to where I'm at just by being there. Where did you get what you're wearing today? I'm just curious. Um, I got this from the Salvation actually, yeah. $20? How much was this? I don't think it was even $10, $20. I think it was like 10 something like that. I was surprised no one picked it up, but not a lot of people go there for fashion. Like mostly people go there because they're actually like broke shit. I think being a tyrant is about just being, I mean ultimately it's a dictator. And so I was really trying to say I didn't want to be with that type of person. I don't want to be with someone that's going to be trying to power struggle with me or if I decide to give you a piece of me or let you into my life or open up to you in some type of way, you're going to use that against me because you know a lot of people, once you open up to them, that's when they start to use that as a power play. I don't know, I don't know, this passion inside, I can't run from the 
I have like a huge level of respect for like people that actually work hard and that are like survivors. It's easy to when you're in a good place or when you're the unicorn that was able to like get out of the circumstances, which doesn't happen for a lot of people because of the way the system is built. It's easy to be like, oh, well, I got here. Anything is possible. You could do it too. Why can't you just do it for yourself? You know, it's not that easy for everybody. Like, no matter where you are, no matter what point in your life you're at, it's not the end. And so kind of just seeing the bigger picture and putting everything in a perspective because even when I was at my lowest moments of my life I kind of had to give that perspective to myself and kind of tell myself like okay if my life is a movie and in the movie there's always the bad part of the movie there's always the parts where you're down and out and then there's the parts of the movie where everything is amazing so I just need to get through this part of the movie to get to the part of the movie that's all love. Like as artists, it's so important for us not to rely on criticism or flattery, because it's a journey, you know? I feel like the most important thing is my legacy and like me to feel good and happy and proud of what I'm doing. If more of us cared about that, then we would be making things that are a little bit more like meaningful, you know? Just because you're losing at the time doesn't mean that you're a loser yet. You don't have to think that, that you lost just because everything around you feels like you're not a winner. I was raised to believe that taking care of people and taking care of yourself and your soul was a lot more important than fame and money. Anything someone wants to do or anything you want to be, as long as you put enough hours into it, into like learning that, practicing that, fully embodying that, living it, breathing it, like eventually you'll get there. Everybody wants overnight success. For what? Overnight success is limited and it's not, it's not timeless.